Hi everybody, I'm Maddie Simpson and I'm the curate at Ulverston Parish Church and this is Ruth. Who are you Ruth? Uh, I'm the youth minister at Ulverston Parish Church and the Furnace Network Youth Church Leader. What a job title there. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to have a conversation, answer a few questions. Uh, a lot have been submitted by other people this time. Uh, so welcome to series two of a conversation with Maddie and Ruth. Shall we jump in? Yeah, let's. This one first. Okay, seaside or mountains? <sighs> seaside or mountains? It's got to be seaside for me. Okay. Because I love the beach. I love the summertime. I was born in August. I'm surrounded by mountains here, but I'm not going to lie. I miss the beach yeah. and the sun. We have beaches here. You're right. <laughs> I miss the sun. <laughs> that you can have. <laughs> How about you? Um, I think I would go for seaside probably. I like water. Mm. Um, I love mountains as well, but I find it difficult to get up them. So <laughs> <laughs> a seaside I can, is flat, tends to yeah. be, and I can walk along it and I can paddle and it's lovely. Yeah. Mountains, <laughs> lovely once in a while, but hard work. Nice yeah. to look at. True. And in Cumbria, you can sit on a beach and look at the mountains. <laughs> so or stand on the mountain and look at the beach, so we're sorted. Completely spoiled. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, are we ready for yep, serious question number one? Ruth, what was it, or who, or anything, that made your faith stick? Particularly if you first knew Jesus from a young age. That's a really great question. Um, so I think, I think it was a lot of different things. So I grew up in a Christian household. Mum and dad were Christians and we went to a small village church growing up when we were little and we sort of stopped going there because um, there wasn't much for us or, or my parents either at the kind of age and stage we were, not many other young families like that. Um, and then one of the biggest things was a friend inviting me to their youth weekend away when I was in about... I think I was year eight at the time and that brought me back into church and back into a youth group and the the people who were in that youth group are were some of the most influential people in me finding a faith um for sure and I think me sticking with my faith I can I can think of a few people but particularly people who again have been on residentials but as team members um and so that thing of being away and being away from my normal life and really immersing myself in church life because that's what residentials are. They are coming together with different people and being in church for a week. Um, and so, yeah, there are a couple called Steve and Nicola Clarkson who may well watch this, um, who were my youth leaders growing up and then I now volunteer on team with them at, at our youth camp and they are particularly influential people for me. Um, I could name lots of other people, but I'll stick with, mm. with them. What about you? Um, I think what made, what makes my faith stick mm. um, is the memories I have of real experiences mm. with God, either personally or just seeing God at work yeah. in other people's lives. And um, so I'm thinking back to, again, the, the church I was brought up in, in St. Helens. Mm -hmm. And um, without doubt, this is a poor church, a poor um, neighbourhood. So you can't attribute change, really, to any other factor. Yeah. But seeing people's personalities change for the better, marriages strengthened. Mm. Um, honestly, all sorts of different things in a way that... You look back and you go, I, I, but I know I, I saw God in that, mm -hmm. and 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 then I've got my own personal experiences of, of God in my life. So, if if and when I'm going to say when my faith goes yes. and goes through the wobbles, I just have to go back to my own experience of God because I can't, mm. um, and and that sort of buoys me. But I would say also, through that, like you've described, growing up and, um faith is always a joint effort and mm. it, it's um it's a whole people of god thing and there's nothing that beats worshiping god together and i yeah. think those times of experiences again of um church being what it should be or you know yeah. and and the enjoyment that comes from that is um is better than anything else i've ever experienced anywhere else so 
that really makes it stick um, for me. Yeah. Is there a particular person that you can think of that's really influenced you in your faith, yeah. your faith journey? Um, I would say my dad um, and my and my mum, um, the two together. Um, I speak about my dad more, forgive me mum, <laughs> because he's no longer living. Yeah. So obviously he's sort of looming a bit larger in that respect. But they're, they're, um, they gave themselves wholeheartedly to people and to the mission of God sacrificing a lot mm. and again I was growing up in a household where I was conscious of what they'd given up in order to do that and sorry bugs <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be the blackbird soon yeah <laughs> so um they set a really positive example uh, for me and one that I wanted to live out myself mm. even though it was really tough so um, again, seeing that firsthand and really respecting it it it, it is really character shaping yeah. so yeah. That's great. Mm-hmm.